Presidential candidate Rudy Giuliani has been in the center of a political storm ever since his comments about abortion in a recent debate. Well, this week on the campaign trail, he struggled to answer critics on both sides of the issue. On Friday, we sat down with the former mayor in Tyler, Texas, for his first in-depth interview since the controversy started, as we continue our series, Choosing the President. Mr. Mayor, welcome back to Fox News Sunday. Thank you, Chris. Nice to be here. Uh, let's start with abortion and any confusion that remains about where you stand. In the Republican debate last week, you said it would be okay if the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and also okay if they didn't. Now, my guess is most Americans would feel passionately one way or the other. Why are you so indifferent to such a deeply held issue? I'm very, very passionate about abortion and the whole issue of abortion. But it leads me to a conclusion that may be different than some, the same as others, which is I oppose it. That's a principle I've held for forever and I'll hold it forever. That's not going to change. But I also believe that in a society like ours where people have very, very different uh, consciences about this, it's best for us to respect each other's differences and allow for, for choice. So with regard to Roe against Wade, since I'm seeking the presidency of the United States and my view is that there shouldn't be a litmus test on Roe against Wade, it seems to me the best position to take is I don't want a litmus test for judges. We didn't want um, uh, Judge, uh, Justice Roberts or Justice Alito to answer that question. They both answered that question. They would consider it. They would look at it. I'm going to select strict construction as judges. Uh, they're, they're free to take a look at Roe against Wade, take a look at the limitations. But I, I believe I should leave it to them to decide that. But, but just to revise your answer last week then, you personally, supporting choice, would not feel it's okay if the Supreme Court... What, 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 I, what I meant to convey, if I didn't convey it correctly, I'll convey it again. The country could handle it. I mean, the, uh, we've got a federal system. What would happen is states would make decisions. We're already doing that with the Hyde Amendment. Uh, federal funds for abortion are limited. States make their own decisions. But would you personally be disappointed? I don't, I don't think it's a question of being disappointed or being, um, or being uh, happy about it. I think it's a, it's a question of not wanting to make this a litmus test for judges so that, so that a judge feels free to listen to the facts, listen to the arguments, and come to the decision they think is the correct interpretation of the Constitution. Some strict constructionist judges are going to decide it was wrongly decided. Other strict constructionist judges may give more weight to the precedential value of it, the fact that it's been the law for this length of time. And if, and if you read Justice Kennedy's uh, opinion for the court in the partial birth abortion ban, uh, you can see the tension there between those two things, and I think the court should be allowed to decide this. But as a practical matter, any president would look at the records of anyone he was going to nominate as a judge, and especially anyone he was going to nominate to the Supreme Court. Are you saying that you could name someone whose record shows that he opposes a woman's right to choose? I'm, I'm sure I, I follow, the, uh, follow the question. The, la the last two appointments that we had to the court were... Um, were people who said that they would take a good look at the presidential value of it but they and did also not indicate and did not indicate their opinion on it and were not selected with a litmus test. I, I understand, but I'm, what I'm saying is that any person, when you're going to judge a judge, right. when you're going to decide whether <laughs> right. or not to name him, you're obviously looking at his record, his rulings, right. uh, his writings. Could you nominate somebody in the whole context of, of a variety of issues right. who had indicated an opposition to a woman's right to choose? Oh, in the, in the context of their overall record, yeah. and if I thought that, that on uh, 20 other issues they would be terrific, that I, 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 might, I might be able to, sure. I, I don't consider it a litmus test. If you don't consider it a litmus test, you don't consider it a litmus test either way. I mean, it's not, um, it's not something I would seek an answer to. I, I don't think the last couple of presidents who made these appointments considered it a litmus test. I would consider the following about a judge. Are they someone who interprets the Constitution rather than legislates? Are they someone who seeks the meaning of the words of the Constitution? Um, a decision like uh, Judge Silberman's decision in the, in the D.C. Circuit is the kind of decision I point to where he found a constitutional right to bear arms. Went way, way back to the framers, to the, to the Federalist Papers. Tried to figure out what did they mean when they put those words in the Constitution that the people have a right to bear arms. That's the kind of judge I would want. I might not agree on every decision they make, but that's the kind of judge I would appoint. You say that while you support a woman's right to choose, that you personally hate abortion and you wish people didn't have them. That, that, that's a position that and many... My, my question is, why? Many millions of Americans have that, that same, same position that I have. Per personally, if you ask my advice, if a woman asked my advice about abortion, the advice that I would give is, shouldn't have the abortion, 
better to have the child. I'll help you. I'll support but, you. But I, in, I, that, in, that, in that choice, well, let, let me. Let me. But my question is why? Why? Yeah. Because I think I think having the child is is a much better decision. I think it's a much better moral decision. I think it's much better for society. I think adoption is a better option than abortion. I supported that position by by helping adoptions increase in New York when I was demanded by 66 percent. In fact, one way to look at it, and I, I just went back and analyzed all these things myself, during the eight years that I was the mayor, adoptions over the eight years before went up 130 percent. I have a very strong view about that. I have an equally strong view, and these two things guide me, and people should know this. And it's, it's something that I feel very strongly about, just like they feel strongly about their position. I have an equally strong view that in a society like ours, you have to respect the right of other people who are of equally good conscience, are equally religious, maybe more, and are equally committed to making this deeply personal choice themselves. The reason I ask is, when you were asked in the last debate about stem cells, embryonic stem cell research, you said you could support it, except when it was a matter of creating a life to take a life. The implication there seems to be that you think of that frozen embryo as a life. There, 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 there are rights that have to be evaluated. And then... But can I ask you directly, do you think of that frozen embryo? I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I don't look at it that way. I don't think it's for me to decide. I, I, I can't decide when life begins. All that I can decide is, you know, what, what are the constitutional issues? What are the legal issues? How do you deal with these things? And the way I deal with it is, I believe abortion is wrong. I believe as a personal matter, if it were my personal choice, and of course it'll never be my personal choice, I'm not a woman, but if I was asked my advice about it, the advice that I would give is that abortion is wrong, choose another option. And I'd make those options available. However, but you don't. If you, if you, but if you yeah. said to me as a woman, I have an equally st strong view on the, of this that you do. I have a strong conscience. I'm a good person. I've thought about this. I believe this is the right thing. I, I would support that. And then the way I resolve that, as do hundreds of millions of Americans, is I support limitations on abortions. Let's see if we can make them limited. Let's see if we can find other alternatives. If we could ever get to no abortions by free choice, that would be the way to get there. Uh, let's talk about those limitations.